Brendan, uh, most of us never get to play professional sport and very few of us ever get to score a goal against the most hated rivals. What was that like? Just take me through it. Ah, uh, yeah, obviously there's an unbelievable crowd out there. That, that atmosphere was electric. Um, I was pretty tired on that shift, to be honest. It was late, late in the shift, and obviously over time you're... You don't have much energy anyway, but just put one on net, and luckily it went in, and what a relief to hear that crowd go crazy. It was was awesome. Was it one of those goals that the moment it left your stick, you knew it was going in, or do you just close your heart, eyes and hope for the best? Yeah, when you're that tired, you kind of just close your eyes, you, you pick a spot, and you shoot it, and just hope it goes in, and I was just happy enough, lucky that, that it did go in. And a bit of an element of surprise as well, or...? Yeah, I think I was surprised too. I think I was so tired. I was just worried about where the rebound was going to go in case I had to come back and get a change in. So, um, yeah, just happy. Okay. Well, you've got Belfast just looking forward a little bit on Wednesday night at this rink. Um, what sort of a team, what sort of a threat are you expecting from them? Well, they always have a good roster, obviously defending league title. Um, they got a lot of high-end guys on their team. Um, they've made a few changes too, so they're trying to shake things up. So I'm sure they're going to come with a lot of energy. Um, they're a physical group. Uh, if you watch them play Champions League, they they skate hard. They're physical, so we're going to have to match the intensity and um, get in their face, not back down, and let let our skills take over. When you were there in 2017-18, I think it was 73 points in 53 games. Hell of a season that. Uh, you won the cup. What what sticks out in your mind most of that season with Belfast? Definitely the cup, winning the Challenge Cup, um, going into Cardiff, playing them in front of their crowd. Um, we had a really good group of Belfast fans that made the trip. It was not an easy trip. There's a lot of rain and snow, and it wasn't easy for them to get there. And I just remember. A few guys were able to score goals into that section and then get the get our crowd into it, and that was probably the highlight of the year was to be able to celebrate it on card advice. Okay. Now you've got uh, Michael Davis back on your line now. Uh, you must have missed him after six games. What is he like to play with, and uh, as he gets less rusty, uh, what sort of a player, what sort of asset is he going to be going forward now after that rest? Yeah, he's a huge part of our team, um, especially playing in the middle with me and Val. He's... He's kind of similar to myself and likes to make plays and, and has a high hockey IQ, so um, we blend pretty easily together. I think um, if you ask him, you know, the game can be pretty fast after sitting out for six games, um, but he, I thought he played really well tonight. Obviously, he makes our power play much better, much more dynamic, so um, as he gets back into the swing of things, it'll be good. Now, I understand that Aaron Johnson's going to be out for a spell. Um, it's such a shame because he just come back, played a game and a half, and that's out. I mean, what, what a hell of a, a nasty thing to happen to such a splendid player. Yeah, he's obviously he's a great guy. He's a great teammate. Um, he's a good coach. Um, you hate to see that happen. He spent so much time off trying to get it healed and healthy and comes back and plays one really, really good game and then takes one whack on it and is back to square one. So... It's tough. We feel for him, for sure. It's never a good feeling when, when guys are injured, and especially the way it happened. But uh, I think our decor that we have are just going to have to pick up the slack. But, yeah, he definitely is sorely missed. What are the chances of getting an injury so close to where the first one was? It's terrifically bad luck, isn't it? It's definitely a bad break, yeah. Thank you.